Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proforex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress basic tutorial for beginners and this is our part 8. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we work with site origin page builder. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress basic tutorial. So if you have remembered guys then basically we have installed a plugin in our previous video session and the plugin is something called if you go to plugins list and now the plugin is something called page builder by site origin we have installed in our previous video session okay if you go to folder structure just inside WP content plugins and now this is the folder called site origin panels okay so basically what is the purpose of this plugin how can we use this plugin and what is the basic rule of this plugin we will discuss in this video session so just back to browser so now if you go to the pages section suppose we are going to edit this about us okay just clicking on edit now these are the contents guys actually I have written as dummy content now as we can see that here we have a tab called page builder and this actually added by using our site origin page builder plugin this actually has been added by that plugin if guys you ever work with a paid theme then basically there are several types of page builders actually WordPress provides what are those called visual composer called TV theme builder called our beaver page builder okay so these are the paid page builders but now page builder by site or is it actually free available page builder provided by WordPress okay so how can we work with that so suppose these are the contents okay so if I switch back now right now we are on the text section so if we are switched back to page builder so just I am clicking on that now here is an alert would you like to copy this editors existing content to page builder so let's say okay so now all the contents is copied from our text area to our let's say page builder so if suppose we don't want these contents actually inside this page builder we want to start from scratch okay so let's delete this panel so now here is the empty panel and also if you want to delete this row so we can delete okay so right now no content inside this page builder we have fresh and empty page builder okay so how can we work with that so simply just I want to add a row if we switch back to refer to editor this is another option given actually it reverts back to our page builder to our text section or our visual section so just I want to click on that would you clear your page builder content and revert using the standard visual editor ok so now we have switched back to our text section ok so this is the switching between text and page builder ok so let me clear all these things from the text section ok so I want to delete that so basically about a section is now totally empty if we click on update go to its front end section and now here is about about us page so if I click on that here is no content inside this page okay so first of all we have to provide some content by using page builder so just back to administrator panel switch back to page builder so now I'm going to add a row okay so first of all we have to row it is asking that how many columns actually we want to our row Okay, so basically we are going to add let's say one okay so just I want to click on this decrement icon so we want total 100% width of single row okay so click on insert so basically this is a simple row okay so how many elements actually we are going to store inside this row this is decided by clicking on this add widget button okay so now here as we can see here we have setting icon okay inside the setting icon guys if you want to suppose edit this row delete this row or any changes if you want just you can click any of these options and perform your own action so just I'm going to add some of the widget inside this row okay so I'm clicking on this add widget after adding clicking on that guys here we have multiple options inside this add new widget panel okay so what actually we are going to add we are going to add some of something called text section because we are going to provide some of the content to the about us section okay so just I'm going to click on that here we have a text next we have to click on this edit icon because we are going to add some of the text inside this text widget okay so click on this edit icon so here as we can see that here we have to provide some of the content inside this visual section okay so just back to slides we have some dummy contents okay copy that just go to administrator panel and paste it here okay so basically these are dummy contents only so if I click on update 
here we have a text which is inside our single row okay clicking on update if you go to about a section reload this page now as we can see that here we have some content okay again if you want to suppose make the contents in two columns okay two columns it means that we have to take two columns row okay so just back to administrator panel let's add another row inside this widget section okay so let's click on add row basically this time we want two columns okay so it's okay click on insert now here are two divs as you can see two areas we have so first of all in this area we have to provide content okay so let's as widget scroll down click on text now inside this text we have we are going to provide some of the dummy contents paste here so let's remove all these things first click on update now if I reload this front-end section so reload this page now as we can see that our page has been divided into two columns so in the first column we have provided content now in the second column guys actually we want to add some of the image inside this column Okay, so just back to administrator panel now we are going to add a visit inside this area okay so click on add visit so inside that we are going to add a image okay so let's click on site origin image basically we are going to provide some of the images inside that clicking on edit so here we are actually not added any images right now this is because site origin actually interact with our let's say that instruct with our media library by using a simple plugin called site origin widgets bundle so we have to install this plugin along with our site origin page builder if you want to suppose interact with our media library to import any images any videos and any audio so we have to install called site origin widgets bundle okay so what is the another option to add image in that column okay so we will discuss about this plugin guys actually in our upcoming videos okay so in this video session I'm going to add images by using uh, another widget okay so just close this icon now delete I want to delete this actually the widget okay so delete that click on add widget so we have another option to actually import images something called a simple image okay so just I'm going to click on that after clicking on that if you want to click on add each section so here we can actually import that image from our media library okay so let's say that add image so here we have some images actually we have uploaded in our previous video session so just I'm going to add on this image okay click on add to visit now here is the some options actually we can actually customize to this image so what are those customization options if you want to replace that if you want to edit that or let's attribute section we have multiple options related with class ID or uh, class ID CSS selectors and if you want to change actually customize its layout something called margin padding mobile padding so there are several customizations guys if you want to do with this image then you can simply implement by the help of this image visit so I'm going to just click on this edit image okay so by clicking on that actually edit image here we have an option called size okay here right now it is this image is selected as medium and this is the height width ratio okay so if I click on this drop down list so we want that full size or let's say custom size so these are the images size okay so we want something called medium size okay so as it is just remains unchanged that so clicking on update and also if you want to add any link with this image means if you want to click on this image we want some redirections we want some another hyperlinks to be opened so we have to just provide the URL inside this text box okay so just click on done icon so finally we have inserted our image from media library okay so just click on update go to our front-end section and now reload this page so here we have images that actually we have added by our image editor so just back to administrator panel so now if suppose we are going to add another row okay we are going to use another widgets actually provided by our page builder okay so let's I'm going to click on add row this time we want two columns so is it it's okay so click on insert so we want to insert some of the widgets inside this area click on add widget 
and also guys if suppose we want to filter that actually visits bundle page builder visits wordpress visits so all we can filter actually by clicking on this links okay so we want that this section actually for all visits we have listed all widgets inside this page suppose we are going to filter only the wordpress widgets okay wordpress default provided widgets click on this link now these are the actually widgets provided by default wordpress setup if i click on page builder so these are the actually widgets provided by our page builder okay so if i click on widgets bundle so there are as we can see that inside widgets bundle we have site origin button editor feature slider post carousel and image section okay so if suppose we want to use any of these widgets we need to install called site origin widgets bundle okay along with our page builder so if close this icon suppose we are going to add a widget and that widget actually something called if i just scroll down we want to add called site origin slider but this site origin slider actually came with this widgets bundle okay so i'm going to click that so if i click on this edit icon so as we have seen that actually these widgets are came with the site origin widgets bundle okay so we need to install this actually plugin along with our page builder plugin okay so hopefully guys in our next video session we are going to install this plugin and now we are going to enable these features actually with our page builder okay so this is only about the basic tutorial about how can we use page builder to our wordpress setup this is freely available site origin page builder we have multiple in our paid versions of wordpress called our visual composer dv theme builder our beaver builder and many more we have seen in our wordpress setup so i think guys by the end of this video session i have given about basic idea about site origin page builder so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day